Good day everyone. The project concept is based on the fact that the facility is designed in such a way that fluid can flow from its inlet all the way to its outlet hindered. But there exists single or multiple challenges that are meant to prevent this from being achieved. So your responsibility is to discover and resolve all the challenges that hinder the free flow of fluid so that flow can resume and you will be scored based on how quickly you are able to resolve the problem. Indicators that can change from green to red and audible alarms are provided to guide you through these challenges. Also note that with the alarm being active at any point in time, fluid flow through the meter is automatically cut off until the cause of the disturbance is resolved. Let's demonstrate how a user can set up challenges and the actions required to be taken by a student or trainee to resolve those challenges. If you don't feel the need to utilize the audio alarm, you can disable the audio output of your computer or reduce the volume. We will set up two challenges here which you can further increase to suit your optional plan. But bear in mind that the more the challenges that are set, the higher the time to be allotted the student or trainee to resolve them. For this example, we would likely utilize the storage tank A. Storage tank A, that's this. And also the LP separator. So what we're going to do at the storage tank A area is to uncheck the level switch bypass like so and we are also going to close the inlet valve from the treater to prevent flow into the storage tank A then we'll also go to the LP separator and uncheck the crude oil level switch bypass and lower the level set point below 800 gallons from 1500 gallons. As you can see from the master panel, the two areas that we have challenges are the crude oil tank A area, level safety low, and also the LP separator, the crude level safety low. So let's head back to the master panel. That's the main controls. Now remember, the lecturer or trainer has to take note of these set challenges and the randomly generated current test ID that's this that appears immediately the test duration is selected for this test I'm going to select five minutes now this is a current test ID two three five two hundred and thirty five and it's not meant to change after the student has undertaken the test for credibility uh, immediately the test duration is selected it will no longer be possible to assess the set test option as you can see here to modify or change the set challenges also note that it's only from the station master panels file drop down menu that you can reassess the main control panel after setting up the desired challenges